Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. So this video is gonna be about the coding side of the invoice page. As you can see this is the view of our invoice page UI. I already explained about the user interface in depth so this video is only gonna be about the programming side of this page. So let's get into our coding side of things straight. Now I'm going to VS Code as you can see. I am currently viewing invoice.php file. So to keep this page running in the state it should be I am linking some other files inside of it. First inside these head tags I am linking bootstrap.css file. Then bootstrap icons.css file. Then finally our own style.css file. Then by the bottom of these body tags I am linking bootstrap.bundle.js file then our own script.js file. Then inside of this PHP script I am requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. Then these session codes are checking out whether a user is signed in or not. If a user was signed in, we are keeping their email address like this. Then from here we are keeping the order ID like this. We are getting it used in the get method as you can see. Then this search query is searching our user has address relation for entries made with signed in user's email address. Then from here we are setting customer's first name then the last name to the correct places. Then from here we are setting customer's address line 1 and address line 2 to correct places. Then from here we are setting that person's email address like this. Then this search query is selecting all from invoice relation where the order ID match with our received order ID. Then from here we are showing invoice ID like this. Then date and time of the invoice like this. Then these codes are showing the invoice ID of the purchase. Then these codes are showing the order ID. Then this search query is selecting all from product relation where id equals to product id of this case. Then this search query is selecting all from city relation where id equals to city id of this case. Then from here we are creating a global variable like this and assigning a zero value to it. If that customer's district ID is 2, we are setting the delivery fee inside the Colombo for that product. If district ID wasn't 2, we are setting general delivery fee for that user. Then these codes are showing the title of the product. Then these codes are showing the price of a product unit. Then these codes are showing the bought quantity. Then from here we are showing the subtotal of the order like this. Then from here we are showing the total delivery charge of the order.
Then from here we are showing the grand total of the order. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.